Hello and welcome back to the Misfits Podcast, rated five stars on YouTube by Yared Holmes. He says, uh, rated five stars for that Lord of the Rings background. Only thing I know New Zealand for. There you go. Wow. We Wait. had it the previous episode and we've oh. got it again now. Yep. And it's very fitting because myself and our lovely guest today, Chad, anything for views? Here he is. Have just come back from my homeland, New Zealand. And we've got a few stories for you. We're also joined by Swagger Souls. Howdy. Toby on the telly. What's up? And Matt is here as well. What it do? How's it he going, said the guys? thing. Uh, the, the, the what it do, man. <laughs> what it do. How are you doing, Chad? Oh, yeah, I only got back yesterday because I stayed a little bit longer. Yeah. Um, mm. And then we went for a birthday party last night and I was very tired. And then. Yep. Yeah, you were shattered. I was fucking cracked. I don't know I was in that cocaine. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but I was cracked last night. And then, yeah. yeah, I had a good night's sleep, though. That's Yeah, I slept like a baby as well. Yeah. I think after your third line, I didn't see you blink at all. Yeah, <laughs> <Wide-eyed, laughs> probably, I think that was more meth than coke in those lines. <laughs> probably. <laughs> Let's try not to think about it. Okay. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, Chad, last time you were on the podcast was when? Like, fucking... Yeah, I know, like, you weren't here. A year ago, yeah, I, I was yeah, here. That was, was that the other office that we had? Yeah. Yeah, it that was, was over wasn't. a year that ago. That was when we, we were drinking with you. That's right. Well, Please no drinking now. I'm still recovering from the trip from last one night. One of your I got water. I got nice, water. Nice. Uh, uh, yeah, I'll have a gamer slop. There you go. Oh, that's the melon one. It it's is the Misfits the Melon. melon. Gamersubs.gg. You can use code Misfits for 10% off your order. Get the new flavor. Get the, wa- well, the waifu cups are sold out, someone said. Is that right? Um, I think these are sold out. There's some on pre-order right now. I think there mm-hmm. are some on pre-order. So if you want uh, a sexy anime woman on your cup while you play games or beat off at the desk, then go to Gamersubs.gg. And use code MISFITS for and 10% off. The best part about them is that you can reuse them for jacking off because you can just put a different color in there and it's like you're jacking off to a different oh. girl. <laughs> exactly. Okay, I have an idea here. Get a okay. flashlight, Does put it in here like cup? cum. Do I like oh, cum? Oh, fill it with cum? Put cum in the game of sops and yeah. shake it up with your game of sops. Right, extra <laughs> protein. <laughs> Incorrect. You heard it here first. The first GamerSubs life hack brought to you by Anything for Views. I will pay pal someone $1,000 if they send me a video of them coming in it and shaking it up and then sculling it. That'll be on r slash cum tribute by the yeah. end of the week. I'm okay. Yeah. <laughs> Um, yeah, anyway, we, we got back from New Zealand. New Zealand was beautiful, right? Like, you didn't want to leave. I, I didn't want to leave. I got to a point on that trip where I was like, do we really have to leave? Yeah. What made you go to New Zealand in the first place? Well, the, tra- idea was it? the travel bubble opened up and I haven't seen my family. I'm, I'm from New Zealand, by the way, for anyone who doesn't know. my fa- I hadn't seen my family in a year and a half since before COVID. So I was pretty eager to go and I was talking to Ryan about it. And he was kind of eager for a, a trip as well. And he was like, fuck it. Let's just, just go to New Zealand like this week. And I was like, okay. And then you sort of gone to the it was mix. Not, you know, it was not very well planned. All, all I got was... <laughs> when is it ever well planned? You say that, but like, it wasn't well planned ahead of time, but we got a lot done on the trip. We did, yeah. Like, and it, w- it was quite smooth sailing. I, mean, I missed it on the first few days because I literally just got chucked into a group DM on Twitter. Yeah. I was like, New Zealand dates. This is when we're leaving. I'm like, brother, yeah. it's two days from now. It's how we roll, bro. Just so spontaneous. I, I had to film a vid and then I flew over and we met. I, I went to Queenstown first night by myself. Yeah. Um, and I was really hungover from filming. So I just spent a night right on the water mm-hmm. and just chilled out. And then you guys got there. Mm-hmm. And like, yeah, everything was really planned for Queenstown. We yeah. went, um, what do we do day one? Well, we'll, we'll, walk, we'll walk through it all. Um, but uh, yeah, basically, like I went to New Zealand before you. We all, or me and the boys, the boys being myself, Ryan, our friends, Noah, Callum, uh, Mitchell, who's listening right now. <laughs> Wait, is he listening right now? No, he's not. Oh. <laughs> well, Mitchell, Mitchell's right, right here. That's our go. podcast editor. He came along. Uh, Darcy. Uh, fuck. Who else came? Your brothers. My brothers came. Um, yeah, I don't know. We got a good little group going. And we went to Auckland first, which is where I'm from. Hung out with my parents for a couple of nights. Actually, some interesting events happened in Auckland. Um, some of you who have listened to the podcast for a while might be aware that we like weed here at The Misfits. Uh, and Ryan in particular, there was no way that he was going like a couple of nights without weed. So one of the first priorities when we arrived in Auckland was how are we going to get marijuana on our hands? Right. Um, and so it was so funny because my parents, you know, they don't smoke at all and they've always encouraged me not to do drugs. And, you know, we don't really talk about that part of my life with my parents, <laughs> you know, maybe they're listening to it right now. If you are, I'd advise that you stop listening right now. Um, <laughs> but, uh, basically, we had this nice, wholesome family dinner where all the boys came over and met my parents. They came to my childhood home. Right. My mother cooked a delicious roast lamb. 
We had a, a lovely meal. It was it was great. Everyone was on, the, on their best behavior. I feel so bad that I missed this. Yeah, it would have been nice to have you there. No, I was, it would not. I, I, would well, have said, <laughs> I would have said something stupid. Yeah, I was, but I was keen to see how you would interact with my family, like my parents, because I just that's just so funny to me. But anyway, it was a very wholesome dinner, and then we went immediately from this dinner to this guy who was an absolute legend, by the way, um, just around the corner from my parents' house, who was just he had this huge growing facility in his flat. That was just above a little fish and chip shop. Just this <laughs> guy. I remember getting this... the Snapchats. Like I, the, yeah. the Snapchat sequence was like this: We're going to buy weed. These are the messages: We're going to buy weed. <laughs> I we remember found these. someone. Yeah. And then I, I'm like, I'm like, okay. And I, and I, and I was still in Australia at the time. And then I checked it like three hours later. And it's just Snapchats of you guys in this small, yeah, rowery, and it's just all plastic sheeted up, and like you guys like ducking in and out between wires. It was wild. I've never was seen like anything hitting? like that. Because it's not legal there, right? No, it's not legal. Definitely, he would get in a lot of trouble if this place was found by the cops. But so it was you just said a fish and chips. Just shop? this. It was a bubble little fish and chip shop. Just okay, that a narrows it down. A it really narrows it down. <laughs> No, there's a lot of fish and chip shops in Auckland. Um, Wood Street. I'm not throwing my new plug under the bus. <laughs> I got a pay a visit, dude. No, but it was great. I was at this little apartment, and in every room, he had these huge tents set up with like full on aircon going through, like ventilation systems right. filled with marijuana plants. And this guy knew what he was doing too. Like his entire apartment was dedicated to this business. He had the tiniest little single bed for himself, and the rest of it was just mm. everything else was just weed. <laughs> his entire investment, place. It's Damn. literally an investment property. Yeah, and he was just a super chill guy. He like gave us the tour. He explained to us how growing weed works. It was really interesting. Did he let you pick it off the plant? Uh, he like picked up a few leaves and kind of showed us them and like talked about you know the male plant versus the female plant course, and how. Yeah. Man, I'm probably gonna fuck this up, but he told us, you know, stories about how, you know, if you're growing weed uh, outside and then someone down the street grows a like a plant of the opposite gender or the wrong gender, the pollen, sex. yeah, the yeah. pollen oh, will change, fuck up your plants. Sex, yeah. And people used to beef over this. They'd be like, "Why are you planting these? You fucked up my entire supply yeah. because you were, you know." Even if they're in like sealed rooms, it'll still like. I, yeah, I don't know it's, if it's it, sealed rooms, it's like but if the pollen. I, I'm assuming that's why it keeps it well ventilated. Yeah. Is and to prevent that because uh, like if you have a whole fucking field that you're growing and uh, like one yeah. turns into a male yeah. and then it starts pollinating it's going to turn half or more into males yeah. and then that you know obviously you, you can't smoke weed you yeah. know because it won't grow the flower yeah. give it to male but this guy was really chill and obviously <laughs> He found Ryan quite hilarious because he never had a customer like Ryan before. <laughs> like right. Ryan walked in there with like just a bunch of cash and was like, let's just buy many, many, like, way more ounces than we needed for our, what was it, three day stint in, in Auckland in the South, in the North Island. But uh, yeah, Ryan, Ryan bought a lot of weed off this guy and then he rolled this fat joint for us. We went to the park at night. We walked, you know, had a bit of a yarn, fuck with some geese for a bit. Had to play on the playground. It was a it was a magical evening, to be honest with you. Beautiful, beautiful, and yeah. Now we were like, okay, cool. We got weed sorted. We went to the beach with the boys. You know, met up with my brother Hamish. Had a nice little chill introduction to the trip before heading down to Queenstown, which is like the central, like the main like tourist city in New Zealand. Yeah, it's like, it's okay. like where you know. It's was, one of the most... Would you say it was off season when we were there for like tourism? Yeah, it's on season I when mean, uh, skiing's up. Yeah, yeah. so we're like just before the big boom. <laughs> Because it's yeah. autumn now, it's I, not heading into winter. I don't imagine that there would be a lot of tourism, considering that the the travel bubble literally yeah. just opened up. I don't think they're getting a lot I of people. I remember from hopping on my world. flight, and I, nope. I was like, I booked business. And I was like, fuck yeah, I can fly business. And I get on this plane, and then it's three people in total, and I'm the only person in business. And the other two people are in economy, and I was like, <laughs> I would literally have the exact same comfort in economy because I'd have a whole row to myself. Yeah. Oh my god. You... Oh man, I would have thought that it would have been really busy because of the travel bubble. I think maybe people it's are I flew direct to Queenstown yeah. in the middle of the week. Well, our flight to Auckland was pretty busy, and you talking about your flight reminds me of something funny that happened because Mitchell, Mitchell got really drunk on our flight to, uh, yeah. to Auckland, and you know we all kind of did, but Mitchell in particular was like just keen to get on the sash. Uh, for whatever reason. In fact, in the airport lounge before boarding the flight, he grabs this entire bottle of wine out of the fridge and he swears he lightly set it down on the table. Dude, it was a glitch. <laughs> Shut <laughs> up, Mitchell. <laughs> and like, he just sets it down and the bottom just completely shatters and it's the entire bottle of wine just empties all over the lounge floor, um, which is very funny. And then on the flight, he- Were you guys you know, just left it there? No, we got someone to clean it up. Right. Um, you're yeah, an asshole, Mitchell. Imagine, imagine doing that and just being like, oh, gotta catch my flight. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> sorry, guys. Yeah, yeah, like, I guess shit happens, but on the flight, we continued to order drinks and we were, um, 
You know how you can invite people in other seats to chat with you? Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. I was just inviting like everyone into our, our chat group. And man, we were saying some pretty, pretty horrific shit in this chat group. <laughs> but we kept like inviting people like from the economy seats in the back and just being like, hey, how are you guys? Like Fortnite? Just like, oh, like trying to figure out who they were, like whether they were kids or adults or whatever, just fucking with them. Um, which was really, really funny. We got actually quite a few people to accept our chat invites and wow. they were like, what is this? Like, no, I'm from Russia. Like weird, just weird <laughs> conversations with these people. And then Mitchell, for whatever reason, wa wants to throw a cracker at, what was it Darcy you were trying to hit? Yeah, and it wasn't a cracker. It was a communion wafer. Okay, a communion <laughs> Wait, they had, wafer. They had communion wafers on the plane? <laughs> I know, I was excited. I was throwing them around to everyone. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, he does not hit. He does not hit Darcy with this communion waiver. It flies right over Darcy's head. Is this in head. business class yeah. too? Aww. And it hits this old, this old woman, <laughs> just like on the leg. Was it? I, it, I swear, it, it touched her. It landed right between her hands, and she said, "Hallelujah." <laughs> <laughs> no, she just looked up and was like scowling for a bit. And Mitchell just sank into his chair, and I was like, "Oh my god, I cannot believe that just happened." Like, that she was, was just... she's probably an atheist. <laughs> <laughs> probably, yeah, uh, yeah. She probably stung her when that communion wafer hit her. Yeah. Reminded uh, her of the days of the the, the church <laughs> back then. Started like actually sizzling. Um, yeah. Anyway, good good flight, good shenanigans. Anyway, we hit down to Queenstown. Queenstown's where it's at in New Zealand. If you're right. going to New Zealand, I highly recommend you visit Queenstown. I hadn't personally been back there since I was a kid, so my memory of it was pretty poor. Like I thought it was kind of a big city, but it's this quaint it's little fucking tiny magical little village nestled in this like on this beautiful like lakefront. Oh but you can God. feed the ducks. And, feed the ducks. Yeah. Even just the drive, even just flying into the airport. Do you remember getting off the plane and looking at the mountains around you? Yeah, There's it was, these it was, yeah, it was something different. Like when, even just flying in, because like it was such a short flight. It was three hours from Melbourne to get yeah. to Queenstown. And because wow, like, wow that's we're, fucking crazy. We're so used to catching like 15 hour flights to America. Yeah. So I remember hopping on the flight really in the morning, closing my eyes and waking up like like two and a half hours and just looking out the window. I'm like, what the fuck? Am I on a different planet? Yeah. Like it was just so weird. It looked beautiful. Like it, all it of the pictures that you guys sent over the duration of the trip were like jaw dropping beautiful. I forget how mm -hmm. like, New gorgeous New Zealand country. is. Yeah. Well, even me, because I grew up in New Zealand, so I, I kind of was overexposed, I think, to it. But heading back after so long, I appreciated my country on a whole new level i was like oh my god this really is something else like it's just so green it's so lush and mm. queenstown in particular as soon as you get off the flight you're just surrounded by these huge mountains and yeah, fucking dude. the drive from the airport to the city is just like so scenic oh my god it's insane it's weird it's, it's weird to me to see mountains because where i'm from in the states like you know <laughs> it, it is flat there's just potato fields everywhere there's yeah. nothing but it's just flat yeah it's fucking flat, flat, flat. Here too, so like you I don't know, even in Melbourne, like, I, I'll look around and be like, whoa, like, there's there's actually mountains in the distance. In the distance. Or, or I'll drive, or I'll drive, like, to, to more, like, rural areas, like, when we were visiting Ryan for his, you know, for, for Christmas, you know, spend the time on the beach. Like, even there, it's like, there's massive cliffs, mm. and, there's, and there's mountains, and it's gorgeous, and giant rolling green hills, mm. and it's like... It, it always bewilders me whenever I whenever I see something that isn't just flat. Yeah, well, there's a lot of natural beauty in America too, mind you. Like, oh America's yeah, got but, some really yeah. gorgeous spots. Yeah, um, I just have never been. I mean, you go up to yeah. Montana or or like Wyoming, it's it's fucking yeah. amazing. But anyway, we're in fucking Middle Earth, man. Yeah. Chad was at home. Chad's a huge Lord of the Rings fan. Yeah, I was like, huge I was fan. like, man, this is it. We're in Middle Earth, boys. Let's go on adventures. <laughs> I just fucking want to get drunk the whole time over there. Yeah, we'll talk about your first night when before we arrived because you had a night to yourself. Yeah, well, the first night, I, all I did was I had a nap because like I hadn't slept the whole night before, and then I went out into the town. I was just drinking and like meeting people. Everyone was really friendly. Mm. Got just absolutely blistered, and then crashed back <laughs> in the bed. And then the next <laughs> morning, I woke up and. I completely forgot, but the hotel I was staying at, the balcony was also just on like a main street where people walk through during the day. All right. Please tell me you were naked on that balcony. I completely forgot that like, and I went to go do like a Snapchat meme for like the group where I walk out on my balcony naked just so I could send it into the Snapchat group. <laughs> yep. And I did it because I got there and I went straight to bed. So I didn't realize how busy it was during the day. <laughs> so I went to dinner and I opened up the curtains and I opened up the door and I walked out naked. Filming on my phone, ready to do this like meme with a Snapchat where it goes from my cock <laughs> up into looking into the mountains. And I go about halfway out the balcony, and then, like, literally, like, from me to the camera away, there's just some guy busking in the street. And there's like <laughs> hundreds of people around him, like, cheering him on. I'm like, 
Oh, back inside. I don't think anyone saw me. Why but wouldn't like, you have been like, hey? Because <laughs> I was staying at like a five star pro- private hotel that Ryan booked me. Yeah, I don't want to make and it for like, half. And it's under his name. I was like, I don't want to get him in trouble. Was it so funny? Was the busker that guy with the yeah, unicycle that, was, yeah, that we that, saw yeah. with all the, who gets all the kids yeah. involved in this? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> that would have been way worse. <laughs> Holy shit. Yeah, that was a lot of kids. God damn. Yeah. A lot of kids. But yeah, and then the next day, you guys hadn't arrived yet because you guys were flying in. So I was like, I'm going to go for a walk. And Ryan was like, go get a poker set for the hotel. I was like, yeah, I'll do that. I just started walking. I grabbed a bowl of whiskey out of the mini bar because I was like, I had heaps of these mini bars. And I was like, it's on Ryan's credit card. Fuck it. I took every, <laughs> I took every fucking bottle of whiskey out and started walking through the mountains. There was people playing like Ultimate Frisbee. Mm. And by the time you guys got there, I was fucking wasted. Yeah, you but were pretty blitzed. So, yeah. And then I, and then some, who let me drive the van? <laughs> you drove? <laughs> got oh about my that. God. Well, yeah, we, we arrive in Queenstown and uh, we drive into the, the kind of waterfront area which is where we're supposed to meet chad and that busker's at it again and that's where we meet you that's yeah. when i first you guys are waiting for me because i was at the bar getting the the yeah. waiter's number that's right that's right and we i got up. it nice this busker was such an oddball man like we kept it we, we kind of waited around for a while watching that busker expecting something fun to happen nothing good kind of just got weird yeah. <laughs> we, were just, heck, we were like heckling we him too and stuff like that <laughs> making pedophile jokes <laughs> We weren't being that rude. No, we uh, were. He was being that rude. <laughs> Chad I, was being I was, yeah, I was drunk. Yeah, but anyway, now we're like, okay, cool. Everyone's linked up. Let's go to the Airbnb. We're pretty. We know we have this nice place to stay at. We're all pretty keen to to get there and crash. Chad's like, oh, drive. <laughs> Did you Ryan know? Let, the, Ryan let me. At, at Did this, you know how under the influence you were? I was like, I didn't know at the time. I didn't know I was wasted. I was like three times over the limit. So you were so wasted you thought you were sober. Yeah. Yeah. It was no, I was only bad. I was a little bit over, but it's like we're on a quiet road and we're just driving up a hill. It was fine. And right. I thought I'd scare the fuck out of everyone. It was it was really just a little meme. But uh, yeah, my brothers were with me at this point as well. I didn't see my brothers in a year and a half, man. It felt so fucking good yeah. to, to see those guys again. Um, yeah, there was a podcast last year where I talked about, you know, hanging out with them in Melbourne. But um, Man, is this crazy? Like not seeing your family for so long, and then be like, "Oh, you're, you're still the same cunts." Like you're still. Yeah. His brothers are, are actually cool than him. Oh, too. I know we met. <laughs> yeah, we, so. yeah. we met. I don't know. Well, they got along. They got along well with everyone. They're definitely they're, they're eyes when Chad liked them because they're wild. You know? yeah. I saw each of their cocks more times than I could count. <laughs> I think. Yes, we'll, culture we'll out in New Zealand is is a lot like the culture here in Australia, where like nudity is and isn't like a taboo. It's not like America. Well, like they've they've gone through like a traditional university drinking culture that I didn't really experience because i was busy being a youtuber right, right. so they've, they've you're too uh, busy being famous man <laughs> <laughs> so they've you know they know how to party my brothers they're yeah. you know it's no joke they, they, drunk, they don't fuck around naked and we've had a, we had a few nights during this trip where they where they showed off their skills but anyway we get to the airbnb and it's beautiful like what an insane place we're staying at right like, oh the view was just like ridiculous it was something out of a book man we had this like f- this like lounge room and the lounge room we had this little fireplace that was set up right Where next to the fireplace you could see the whole town and all Jesus. the mountains and all the wa- oh my god so did the view look like lord of the rings yes yeah, yeah. I mean, I, everywhere looked like lord of the rings i have a question this might be insensitive but i'm gonna anyways <laughs> yeah in, in new zealand when you have when you see like you know somebody who's like you know, an adult, but they're like four foot, four foot two. You know, they're like little people. Like a midget? Yeah, like a midget. <laughs> do you, do you, like, does anybody refer to them as hobbits? Is that like a slur over there? Do they uh, ever call them hobbits? N- no, I, I've never really, I think it's almost like that needs low to, hanging fruit, but th- th- it needs to change. Yeah, I mean, they need to start calling them hobbits. <laughs> it would make so much more sense. It's 2021, you can get cancelled for that. You yeah, get cancelled for calling them a hobbit? Well, yeah, making fun of midgets. But yeah. hobbits are cool. Okay. You'll true. have to talk to Jacinda about that one. She, she might be cool with it. We'll see. But yeah. anyway, she's hot. She's doing it. She's, yeah, she's, she's having a crack. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> she's yeah. yeah. she she legit. She's fucking sweet. <laughs> um, yeah, but anyway, first night was pretty tame. Eh? We just went to dinner. We went to that steakhouse. No, it wasn't tame. Well, it was no. Well, you. It wasn't tame it for was you. It was not tame. Dinner Why? was amazing. We got really fucked up at dinner. You bought a very expensive bottle of wine and some very expensive whiskeys. Yeah, I was. That. I was wasted, and I was like, <laughs> "What is the most expensive bottle of wine you have?" Mm. I was scammed. It would taste like shit. It was good. What do you mean? It was not six thousand dollars. It was not. It was not six grand. It was not six thousand dollar one. Yeah, it was ridiculous. Yeah. It Wait, wasn't US worth or that. Australian? Huh? U.S. or Australian? New Zealand. New Zealand. Oh, so, so even like, cheaper. So it's like five bucks money. Australian. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> and then we had the Jesus. cognac, and then we're drinking at dinner. I was fucked. And then we were driving back up to the Airbnb because it was like midnight because we finished mm-hmm. dinner really late. Yeah. And I was on autopilot. I'd barely had any good sleep because like, and I was just like, I'd been drinking for like three days. I was like. 
I just jumped out of the van. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. Out of the van. I yeah. jumped out of the van, walked into a pub, and then. Well, it was like, it was so quick that I didn't even realize what was happening. We were just driving home and then Chad's like, I'm going to town, opens up the door, gets out. Then my brother Hamish gets out as well. He's like, all right, I'm going too. And then Darcy gets out and Noah, right? Noah, yeah. It was, yeah. was it Darcy as well? Yeah, Darcy, yeah. Darcy, Noah, and which brother was it? Your, and Hamish, Hamish right? my youngest, your youngest brother. brother. Yeah, yeah. Who's uh, 19. Yeah, and, and we're, 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 it's the middle of the night. It's the middle of the week. Like there's barely anything open. I, <laughs> like Hamish is, he's telling, he's like, Bro, I'm telling you, there'll be something open. This is Queenstown. Like, he swears by it. Yeah. Right. We go to, like, four places. It's all closed. We finally find a place. We get up there. It's got, like, one hour left. We've, like, we've only got one hour left. We got, like, ten drinks. <laughs> and we're, like, smashing them. We get kicked out before they even close. Yeah. We get to the next place. It's a silent disco, which means... Oh. It, which, it, which, <laughs> which fucking also sucks, but there's alcohol. Yeah. We keep drinking. We go to one more place and it's like the ghetto of like Queenstown. Like it, it, I cannot explain. It was worse than the place. Like there's another place. Like a bunch of like a bunch of houses this and hills no, it was with this like cramped, circle doors. It was doors. this cramped club and it was just old dudes and it smelt bad. It was worse than the one that we went to it, afterwards. It, it yeah. wasn't a gay bar. It was just a. I think it might have been a gay bar. Yeah, it it probably sense. was a gay bar. <laughs> and then I was like, nah, that's it. Like, I'm so drunk at this point. Like, I can't even stand. I barely get this drunk. I'm like, let's head home. And I was, and we get out, and your brother's just on some next level yeah. retard alcohol <laughs> brain. <laughs> And he's like, <laughs> I know where the strip club is. And I was oh like, no. God, no. Like, is, and it was like I fast traveled, bro. He just teleported. And, I, and the next minute I'm standing out the front of the strip club. And we get, and they've let us in for some reason. Wow. And there we spent two hours there. And I think I had a conversation with the strippers about doing their tax. And <laughs> well, you, yeah, you said that you guys were just in there just exchanging lap dances for like two hours. Yeah. Just, just having a wild time. It yeah. sounded like it. Apparently, my brother Hamish was very having a very oh, good time. Oh yeah, we had whipped cream, and we could put whipped cream on the girls and eat it up really? during the dances. So, because I was fucked. Are you lactose? Yeah, um, but I'm, I'm <laughs> fucking stupid. And I got to Hamish, and I put this big glove of whipped cream on his nipples. In front of, I'm like, the, all these strippers Hamish's that nipples. were paying to give us lap dances. I'm like, no, everyone, get off, get off, women, stand away. I start licking whipped cream off your brother's chest. No, you yeah. did. <laughs> yeah, I didn't know that part. Yeah. Oh my god, that's hilarious. That's probably the reason he didn't tell you. <laughs> that's like, so funny. Oh, how was your night with Chandler? It was good. It was gay. It was okay. It was, it was gay. Yeah. That was fun. That night was fun. Yeah. Um, and then yeah the next morning was the that was a hangover yeah you guys were pretty fucked mm. yeah well this whole trip was basically just a bender at this point it was like we're just accepting that we're drinking every night. I mean that that night for me was pretty calm me and my brother Alex kind of just went home and got you know caught up because I hadn't seen him in forever but yeah next day what did we do the next day we fucking um we got over the hangover, so I, yeah. I dry Chill heaved morning. in the shower all morning. <laughs> I saw the yeah. Yeah. Oh, I, of you on the toilet just I'm fucking never drink it Monte, again. you're saying you'll never drink again. <laughs> but you I, say that almost every yeah. time you drink. I've yeah. heard that many times, and I don't even hang out with you guys when you're drinking. <laughs> it's not hey, it's a moment of weakness, man. It's just the hangover talking. We hit the sauna. That's we hit right. the spa. Oh. We drink some Gatorades. Oh, what the fuck? It's like you don't even have to worry about the hangover. The sauna was so good. Yeah, the sauna oh. cancels out the hangover. Yeah. And then I got out of the sauna. It was like midday, one o'clock. I'm like, let's keep fucking drinking. Yeah, let's go. And you then sweat all the alcohol out. It <laughs> was fucking. Yeah, the more. sauna literally smelled like whiskey and vodka from all of my sweat. That's when we <laughs> hit the luge. Yeah, the, the luge. So the luge, for those of you who don't know, is this. Uh, Thing. I don't know if it's Queenstown exclusive. It's probably not. It's not. It's yeah, not. Luge, a luge is like it's an Olympic sport. Yeah, it's almost like uh, <laughs> it's almost like go karting, <laughs> but um, you're just going down a hill using you know gravity to to accelerate you, and then you have a brake and you can steer. And there's this like windy track. It's actually pretty intense. Like there's it can get pretty hectic. Yeah, there pretty is, fast. There is, you can I don't die. understand <laughs> how they don't have any safety measures in place yeah. because yeah, it's actually as you go down it, there's just like. A sudden drop if you like go off the fucking track too exactly hard. because they need gravity so it's on this big ass hill yeah and it's just a windy track and they put like five year olds down there yeah yeah, right. yeah, yeah. yeah we were overtaking like little kids and like trying not to hit him and shit the, the like, first thing that was going through my head is like has anyone died on it you got you go fast if you yeah how many kilometers do you think i don't know what do you mean i mean probably like 40 like, or 50 probably at least 40 50, yeah you break yeah. 40 50 yeah. um do you, was, get, do you have seatbelts or anything? No. Keep you in? No, you're just in no. there. Like, you're just sitting in it's it. Probably, sure. It's probably for the best. Because if you do hit, you probably want to yeah. fly out. 
Yeah. I mean, a few of us did fly out. I'm pretty sure Ryan fell out at one point. Ryan ate shit at Ryan one point. Shit. Yeah, Ryan ate smashed into the side and just fell over on Ryan, the side. Ryan, the one thing that scared me was Ryan fell off and like almost went off the edge and the edge was legit a drop there's yeah no, there's no safety barrier just, just to get like some perspective you have to take a gondola to get up to the luge yeah and you it's way high up on the top of this hill but so the views are ridiculous but like what, what, pretty was, what was the name of the place uh, you, got, you got the ticket. You still I, got the ticket. Oh, it's in my jacket pockets oh. over there. It's, it's just the, it's just the Queenstown it's, Luge. Like it's, it's the Luge in yeah. Queenstown. Yes, there's only one. Mitchell, you are you able to pull up a picture yeah. of it? <laughs> oh yeah, here we go. <laughs> Look at this. Oh okay. <laughs> so like, <clears throat> I mean, this looks actually pretty tame from this video, but this but is, I mean, look at the drops oh, and yeah. stuff. Yeah. This is the current vibe. Yeah, they're looking. They're having, they're having a great time. Yeah, they're going it with slow the as shit with their kids. We were, we were, we were busting it. But if you don't break, you will, you will just f like you can hit those concrete barriers and go flying if you're not careful. This is so. the, p this is the pussy track. There's yeah. two tracks. There are two there's tracks. a pussy track and then there's a hardcore track. Yeah. So wow. we, we spent most of the time. We spent, we did like we were up there for like three hours, yeah. just going up and down, having a great time. At one point. I think you started this trend. You started getting your ball sack out on the on the ski lift. Yeah, uh, there's a ski lift that goes <laughs> up to the top where you ride down. And right. I was with your brothers, and I was like, and it takes the photos you're going up, and you can buy the print out. <laughs> so it also displays all the monitors down. <laughs> in the oh my god! Right. <laughs> so I was like, fuck it. And I just got my nuts out on this uh, as we're going up on the ski lift. And it took a photo. I was like, got it. And I put my balls away. I looked down, and right underneath you was a pathway where people were walking back up. <laughs> it's just a family walking past. So I got oh. my cock out. And also, as soon as you did that, like it's showing up on the screen yeah, downstairs, downstairs where people buy the photos. So they'll be seeing that on the slideshow. Just Chad's <laughs> ball, got your ball sack. And I got, away, I, got away with, <clears throat> I got away with the first one. But you didn't buy the photo? I know, we bought them. We, okay. we got them. We got yeah. them printed. Nice. Good. And then the second one, I went up there again with your brothers. Yeah. And was it you as well? I can't remember if it was you as well, but we. I, they, I partook later, but yeah, yeah. with my brothers. And they were like, we, they're like, we all wanted to get our balls out for one photo. And I fucked it because I was like so nervous because there's a family behind us on the other ski <laughs> yeah. lift. Yeah. And if I had to pull my pants down to get my cock completely out for the yeah. photo, I'd just be mooning the family of kids behind me. <laughs> I did it, but I didn't do it in time. Yeah. Um, to get the photo, and as yeah. soon as we got up to the top of the lift, this chick was on the radio, like looking at us, like, "Are uh, uh, you guys, huh?" And I'm like, "Ah, oh, <laughs> fuck." She's like, "I'm like, oh, we get kicked off, aren't we, man?" She's like, "No, just don't do it again." I was like, "Oh, we're not the first people that have done it." There, they were chill. A few of the staff actually knew who we were as well. Like, yeah, yeah, they did. New Zealand's yeah. overall pretty chill. That, yeah. Like, they don't, re you don't really get kicked out for much stuff in New Zealand. Yeah, um, fuck's a blessing for me. <laughs> yeah, it was, it was perfect. Really, that was fun. That was a good, that was a good time. And then after that, we went down. We went to this famous burger joint called. Berg burger got a delicious oh, burger a funny meme mm -hmm. i was talking to jay dolan who's from new zealand as yeah. well and i was like yeah. i went to queenstown and i was like and i was telling him about fur burger but i couldn't remember the name yeah. and he was like fur burger like he knew straight yeah, away and i was like he's place. never been to queenstown i was like is this like a new zealand thing is yeah. it really that good it's this, i've never been uh, and i knew the name when you, you said see, it See, it's a new zealand like, legacy it has so much hype in new zealand it is fucking, it's fucking good. yeah yeah but like it, it's you know a burger can only get so good but it's like the perfect burger right good, like it's good. just it's really food. good it was really good because we hadn't eaten all day i hadn't eaten because i was hung over because when i'm hung over i don't eat so it was the first thing i would eaten all day yeah and I sat down, I had this burger. So and good. it was a fucking good burger. Fucking good burger. It was a good burger. And then, yeah, I mean, this was the night, was this the night we went out to town and got super rowdy? I forget, Mitchell. Uh, maybe he'll Mitchell, know, but, yeah. But uh, anyway, we, we get Ferg Burger, we go back to the place, Airbnb for a bit. And then, I'm pretty sure we went out to town. This is the night when we started drinking. Oh, yeah, this is when we started drinking, and I was so, I was like so tired, and I was, I fell asleep on the couch for an hour. Yeah, that's And then right. I just get oh, woken yeah. up we, by your we, brothers. Well, we were playing poker. Um, and Ryan was there as well. And halfway through the poker game, Ryan gets a huge bottle of absinthe out. Oh my god, like giving people shots of absinthe. Um, I used to take oh, shots of absinthe in uni. Absinthe is it, it, you mean it is so death. fucked. Death. What is, what is yeah. the percentage of it? It's like that was that one was 75%. Yeah, it depends because you can you can buy 90%. You can, right? Like, you, not, in like, not in Australia, you can't, but in New Zealand, you can. You can it, just it, go to the like, liquor store and get like extra strength alcohol. absinthe. Mm -hmm. It's like what? one, it's like 150 proof. It and tastes then like licorice. Then there's one, yeah, 180, the 180 proof. Flammable. It tastes like licorice, licorice and fire. Petrol. <laughs> like it's just, yeah, petrol, gasoline. The, but um, I went to sleep and I gave Mitchell my credit card to go to do an alcohol run. Yeah. How much money did you spend on my credit card, Mitchell? Um, I didn't spend anything. Ryan spent it all. Yeah, I just remember we... just getting this notification on my phone. So first the wine bottle, mm -hmm. night one, night two, like five grand at a bottle load. I'm like, what the fuck did they what? buy? 
and he's just got this giant bottle of wine, which I had to leave at the Airbnb anyway because I couldn't take it because no one drank it. It was like a 1.5 liter or something. Yeah. It was huge. Jesus. But yeah, three. We, a three liter yeah. bottle of wine. Poker was fun. We got so drunk though. And then I, we, were, we were all really tired until we started drinking that absinthe. And then we just got started getting energy. We we're like, let's go. Let's you go. You can't out. sleep if you've been smacked in the face with absinthe. Yeah. Chad's on the couch sleeping like a baby. My brother Hamish just goes up to him and starts just harassing him. Like, I think he started spooning you. He and- started spooning <laughs> me, grabbing my cock. My brothers <laughs> loved you, man. They were shaking <laughs> me. And at this point, I will note. They were both blackout. <laughs> yeah, they were fucked Because in the morning, they didn't remember anything they did. No, no. So they finally got me up and they started giving me shots. I had a sh- the last shot of absence. Mm-hmm. I had a couple beers and drinks. I was like, oh, I'm ready to go to town. We go to town. It's like 2 a.m. It's 2 a.m. Well, it was like, yeah, probably 2 a.m. Everyone gets in this rental van. We've got Ryan Sober, so he drives us. Um, and we all go to town and we start just roaming the streets of Queenstown. We get denied from the, fir- the, f- the first only club. place. There's, there's probably, no, there's probably like three or four places open at this time. Yeah. The only good place that's open we find just, and we, and I look at, I'm like, this looks place, a nice place. It's got plants, a fireplace. It's a really nice bar at 2am. Yeah. And what's your older brother's name? Um, Alex. Alex walks up and, I, and he walks up <laughs> with a beer in his hand. He goes, let us in. He's like, <laughs> the bouncy straight away. He's like, you're not getting in. Yeah. None of you are getting in. I was like, fuck you. <laughs> the one good place and we can't get in now. So we go you to this come other up place. to a fucking place with a beer and demand to be let, let in. in. What do you expect? <laughs> Alex just has no social awareness when he's drunk. There are a few oh, incidences where he <laughs> exemplified that on that night. That's we, hilarious. We go to the next, uh, the next bar. It's kind of average. We just have a shot there, I'm pretty sure, and then dip because yeah. there's nothing happening. And then we realize we're probably not going to be able to get into a club, so we just have to make do with the streets. I remember just walking down. I was so blind drunk at this point. Just walking down Queenstown to, towards the waterfront. All of a sudden, there's just a cigarette in my hand. I don't smoke cigarettes. I never smoke cigarettes. But a cigarette just appears in my hand. And I start smoking it. I've got the craziest head spins. We're walking towards the water. And then we get to the wall that separates the town from the, you know, the, the, the fucking, water, the, the lake. lake water. And next thing you know, my brother Alex is completely butt naked. I saw this snap. Standing on top of the wall. Like, I want to fucking jump in the water. I've got my wanna... camera. I'm like, fucking do it. I'm David Dobrik. Break your ankles. <laughs> the water is like this shallow, right? I think the brick wall. I'm like, fucking jump. I'm doing the cut zooms on my camera. I'm like, jump in. Yeah, and he's going to cock out. And he, he jumps. He just jumps straight in the fucking belly freezing fl- he cold belly water. Flops. I've got it on camera. Him belly flopping really? into the water. Yep. Oh, my God incredible scenes we couldn't believe it i couldn't believe what was happening like it was i don't know because you know i've got some footage on my camera from that night that (laughs) might need to be thrown in the incinerator i think so or at least for the archive for when we're old and can look back yeah we make a documentary so big (laughs) i this man i don't know if he appreciates (laughs) me talking about his cock but the these are his nuts. I'm not, I, like these. Uh, these are. I'm not even exaggerating. This yeah, motherfucker man. has got nuts like this on him, and a fucking horse cock like this. <laughs> and all, all you're fucking saying is, yeah, it runs in the fam. You're drunk too. Yeah, it runs in the family. We've all got big cocks. And I was That's like, oh my god. <laughs> yeah, well, then you know, as if to prove that point, my. Younger brother, yeah, Hamish, pulls his cock out. Uh, he gets naked as well, and he jumps in some cunt's boat. That's just like <laughs> that's just like parked up by the it's dock. Some tinny like pulled up at the dock. That's just like t- tied up with rope, and he he's gets, like yeah. trying to start it. And he's like bending over, like slapping his ass cheeks. These cunts are wild, man. Because I have, <laughs> I grew up with my brothers, right? I grew up, but we were kids back then. And then for most of my, you know, adult like early twenties, I've been separated from them because I've been living here in Melbourne. So we don't, we haven't really had that many chances to hang out and drink properly like we did on that night. So to me, it was just so funny seeing like just the wild cunts that my brothers were like. It was so, so, so good. I was wheezing, man. I couldn't believe it. It was such a good time. It's amazing. And then they get out of the water and somehow they just get their clothes on and are not freezing cold. Like probably because they're so drunk. It was like three degrees too. It was freezing. freezing. Um, But weirdly, they seem to dry off pretty quick. We keep continuing through through Queenstown. At this point, we're like, uh, you know, half the group is really craving weed. Because we uh, we haven't got weed in Queenstown, we only had it up in Auckland. Um, so and I haven't seen Ryan eat in two days because he yeah. hasn't had weed either. So Ryan really is on a quest for weed, and that kind of becomes the, the focus of the night. So we, we go start, get Fur Burger again. We get Fur Burger. So it's again. round two at Fur Burger. <laughs> <the same laughs> amazing. Day. What time of night is this? Still it's like four a.m. at this point. Yeah, we were just running into all these great NPCs that were just 
you know, just really nice people, honestly. Mm. Like all the strangers we met on the streets of Queenstown were amazing. They're all so nice. So yeah, nice. Dude. Um, and there was this guy on a side alley. Well, Ryan takes the van and disappears with half the group. And then mm. it's just me, you, my brothers. Like, and Was this when they were Noah. going to get weed? Yeah, they, they went yeah. out to like find some. We just like start picking up traffic cones with these I random saw, cones and like saw. yelling into them and like... <laughs> You took a piss just on the sidewalk and my yeah, brother some guy, down your Some guy was like, I know who you are, Chad. I'm a big fan. He's like following us around. Yeah. He's like, he's wasted too, like screaming into the cone. Yeah. And yeah, the Ryan and all that disappeared and my camera's gone mm. and Alex's phone is gone. Or oh, Hamish, yeah. Hamish's phone is gone. No, it was Alex. He lost his Alex, phone. Yeah. And yeah. now we're freaking out because I know my camera, yeah. which has footage of cock and naked water <laughs> and maybe like a slight hint of racism somewhere sprinkled in there. <laughs> right. Um, <Naturally. clears throat> The van's missing. Ryan's missing. I'm not walking up to that hill to get back. And, and we're fucked. And then we're fucked. <laughs> and then they just reappear out of nowhere. Yeah, we find them. I, I think due to the, some help from some kind strangers, this guy walks past with DJ Dex under his arms and his friend's trailing him. And his friend, let me tell you, is just on so much ketamine. Like he's on a ridiculous amount of ketamine. His eyes were just black. And he was like, oh, I'm on so much ket, mate. <laughs> and my brother Alex, who's just so drunk, just he, and he's you know my brother Alex is taller than me. He's like a good yeah, he's yeah. Man. He's taller than me. He's just standing over the short little cunt, just fucking bugged out on ketamine. And he starts having a yarn with him, just like as if he's not. He was like, "Good day, mate. How's your night going? Yeah, how you going?" And the guy's just like, oh, I do. He goes, can't, "Can't even comprehend. Can't even, like, can't even string a sentence together." But Alex just doesn't understand that like he's not. It's just a one-sided conversation with this guy on ketamine. He's like, "Yeah, man, not having a, having a pretty good night. Lost my phone, but I found it." It's like intensely staring at this guy's eyes. <laughs> Guys, I have to pull him away. I'm like, God, Alex, just let these guys carry on. Like, he's fucked. He, he can't even talk to you. He's like, all right, all right. Um, <laughs> That's fucking funny. And then, and then the van just pulls up again, and they get out of the van. Like, and we Strub, found weed. yeah, Strub comes out. He goes, I found weed. <laughs> and, and everyone's like, yay! Yeah. This legend, uh, I think his name was Ben. Uh, I forget where he was from. Ben, the like he was from van Scott. guy. He was Irish. Irish legend Ben. If you're if you're somehow listening to this, he found us like three grams of weed in a little Tupperware container that he was probably saving for himself. Strub Strub had my camera and he was running up to people saying he was interviewing them for a TV show. Mm. And he was asking funny. them on camera, "Do you have weed?" <laughs> <laughs> and I don't know. This Irish guy was like, "Yeah, this is where my camera was," and I was freaking. out. He's like, "Yeah, I have weed." And he's like. He's like, it's in my van. It's like, we can drive you to your van. And then they just disappeared, came back with weed. Yeah, amazing. And Poor we, Irish guy was bugging out. Like we, were, we were two minutes in the van. He was like, wait, where are we going? <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, we're going to buy your weed off you. Like, <laughs> oh, you're not going to do anything else? And we're like, no. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you're not going to rape kidnapped. Because <laughs> <laughs> it's also like a nice van. Like yeah. he hopped into this like... A luxury sprinter van with us <laughs> and like we took him in yeah it was weird it's hilarious he was a legend he was such a nice guy we we uh, stayed and chatted to him for a bit after he got us the weed as well and everyone kind of had a nice little wholesome feed at ferg burger again yeah we're all we're all huddled Third around time. fur burger the yeah. one hit the one heater at fur burger <coughs> with that burger's like it was, it was amazing and then yeah it was kind of like mission accomplished everyone was kind of keen to go home and smoke this weed so oh that's not where the night ended though no well we, we 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 headed back to the Airbnb, right? Yeah, I went to bed on the couch. You went to bed on the couch for me. like an hour, <laughs> and I wake up because I hear s the the music. Someone put music on. Yeah, but at five or five thirty in the morning, yeah. at the loudest volume possible, and I'm yeah. just like, <gasps> like woken up, yeah. and I walk into the kitchen. And it's you and your brothers sitting there chatting. We were bonding, bro. We were bonding at like five thirty, <laughs> six o'clock in the morning, and they're still drinking. That's yeah, adorable. my brothers are. Fuck, I've never seen them that fight before. And the weed sent them over the edge as well. Oh, you got Christ faded? The, the weed sent my brother, my youngest brother Hamish, into just this demonic state where he just was saying random words that made no sense together and then laughing. He'd just be like, I put the, I put the, <laughs> just like that. And that was how he was communicating <laughs> and like teaching me these weird games and shit. It was honestly so, Is so, Is that so what he fun. taught you, uh, Shadow Tag? Shadow Tag, yeah. yeah. I, I walked uh, in the so kitchen, right. I walked in the kitchen, they're all talking and, I'm just, and I just looked at all of them and, at one point, I think you were kind of piecing yourself back together, and you're like, oh, "Listen, guys, if you just go to bed now, because they had to leave in the morning." He's like, "At 10 a.m." At yeah. 10 a.m. He's like, "Oh my god, you guys can get a couple hours sleep before you have to head to the airport." Yeah, your Alex is not making any sense. No, Hamish hilarious. is just blitz, and I walk in there and I go, "You guys are flying home in the morning." Like, yeah, I'm like. You guys aren't making that flight. Yep. <laughs> I just go back to bed. So I'm just drinking water at this point, enjoying the show that my brothers are putting on. And they had, they had both had no, no mixes, just 
a, yeah. a, a, each a glass of full whiskey, no yeah. ice, just not just, just, just a full shoot. glass of whiskey, just just drinking it like water. Yeah. I walked in there, I'm like, I don't want no part of this. I'm, <laughs> I'm going back to the couch, bro. I just came to see what the music was. Yeah. Sure enough, in the morning, I wake <laughs> up. I, I probably got the best sleep out of everyone. I'm feeling really rejuvenated. It's like midday. I'm feeling great. <laughs> I walk directly downstairs. And all that sh- I don't even look in the bedroom. All that shit's just scattered all over their rooms. I'm like, yeah, they're still here. Well, I'm going back up. What happened was, um, it was it got to around 6.30 in the morning when they finally were like, all right, we'll go to bed. I was trying to convince them. I was like, guys, just get two hours sleep. You'll thank me later. Eventually, they go downstairs. They get into bed. I set alarms on my brother Alex's phone. I'm like, all right, got you. You're going to wake up in two hours. I'm going to come down and check on you, and then you're going to catch your flight. I didn't want to wake up in two hours and check on them and make yeah. them get their flight, but, you know, I'm a good older brother. I wanted to make sure they were getting home safe. Um, I come, I, you know, so I go to bed. I, I get two hours sleep. I wake up. I feel like pure shit. I go downstairs. They're both just completely passed out, like Peter Griffin fucking falling over <laughs> on the ground style. <laughs> My brother, he's got his phone right next to his head, just blaring the alarm. <laughs> He's just out cold, <laughs> can't hear shit. Oh my God. I go in there, I'm like, Alex, mate, Alex, mate, you gotta wake up. It's time for your flight. No, just nothing. Just couldn't get. So I was like, all right, they've just missed it. It's whatever. Ha- Hamish, Hamish at one point got up and just rebooked his flight for the same day. Yeah, he he, he did all right. So Hamish did all right, and then Alex came up and was like, I missed my flight. <laughs> I gotta rebook it, and then that was the last I saw of him until 6 p.m. And he yeah. ca- he finally gets up at 6 p.m. So he slept God for 12 damn. hours. So he re- rebooked. You'd it the have next to. Day. You'd have to sleep for 12 hours. And he gets up and he's just still hungover. Yeah. Awful. But it was it was kind of nice having him stay for another day. That day was pretty calm. Obviously, we were sort of just recovering. Everyone was just hungover. Did we, did we do anything of note that day? I don't think so. The spa, we sauna. Did, yeah, we went to the spa. We just sauntered it up. Um, went out to dinner again. That was really nice. I got drunk again. You got very drunk again. I got very drunk at dinner. I think me and Alex probably just got really high, you know, a little crossed. Um, yeah, and then that was a chill evening, I think. And then we went to bed again, woke up. Brother went home. And then it was just kind of the, the original group again, enjoying our remaining two days in Queenstown, the, the the final stretch. The last two days, in comparison, to the first two were like pretty chill. They were like more, more touristy. We yeah. we um we went out to Arrowtown, which is this beautiful nice. little mining town. Yeah, beautiful little mining town, twenty minutes out of Queenstown. That's it's, what it was. It was actually a mining. It town. was a, yeah. yeah. It's an gold mine. Gold mine. Yeah, yeah. I, I I went to a on a school field trip there for like a few few days. Yeah. We used to go like gold panning and shit. Yeah, that's yeah, what they were saying. Gold. You go wow. gold panning in the river and they were yeah. saying and how you find like, flecks of gold really yeah. easily. It was gorgeous. Yeah, it's it was. autumn, so all the colors and the leaves were just yellows and browns. And wow. on the van ride there, a chap was putting on Lord of the Rings music. Music as we were driving <laughs> in. It was so scenic. It was the most majestic shit ever. Really set the mood. Had a lovely breakfast. Had a lovely little hike I got by drunk at stream. breakfast. You drank a couple Bloody Marys at breakfast. I drank four Bloody Marys <laughs> oh and then something God. else. So I got really drunk. I was, I think I'm an alcoholic. <laughs> <laughs> I got drunk at breakfast and then we went down to the river and we went through a walk in the river and That's we took right. some really nice photos. We're skipping some rocks mm-hmm. and trying nice. to jump the river. That's so good. And then, yeah, he- headed home from Arrowtown. And on the way home, we spot this thing called the Shot Over Jet. Oh, We're going over yeah. this bridge and we look down. There's this like red uh, you know, jet boat. And we're like, oh, fuck, let's just go and see if they have a spot for us. So we pull in and... They wheeled a whole boat, a whole new boat in so yeah. that we could hop on it. They, they took us immediately. They were yeah. like, yeah, yeah, like 3.30, let's go. So we all get on this uh, speedboat. And man, how to describe this? Like, I knew that it was going to be pretty turbulent, but it was extreme. Like, this yeah. shit was actually, like, you felt like you were in danger. They're driving so fast down this little river with, like, huge rocks on either side. Oh, God. Your head gets really close yeah, to the rocks. Yeah, I, I, I have, like, footage on my phone because they're like, don't film me. I'm like, fuck that. I'm filming on my phone. Yeah. And I have footage of me, like, selfieing it as we're going. And I have to, like, go like this because I think, like, it wasn't going to hit me. But, like, you know, the immediate yeah. reaction was I like, shit myself because it was, like, this far away from me. And we're moving at 40, 50 kilometers an hour. Jesus. Probably more than that, eh? Like, yeah, what did you say it was? I don't fucking know, man. That we were going fast. fast. That yeah. was quick. And he was doing, like, 360s and shit. You have, have you done it, Toby? I haven't done it, uh, but my family has. It's, I was too much for pussy you gotta cut, when you I was got, a Well, kid. we're going back soon. you got to come with us. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Well, Every, I want to redo it. Yeah, yeah it, was, it was so sick. And then after that, we just had a nice little pub feed. Enjoyed that. There were some dogs there, and we're and all patting dogs. them, playing with the, feeding the dogs, and there were some kids there. And yeah. so nice. I don't know why I brought the kids into it, but there were kids there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, head back. I think we. And I smoked weed for the first time in like six months. You did. And you mm. enjoyed it. You, you enjoyed it. You'd like, no, at first you liked it. You were in the spa. You were like, I like this, man. I'm cozy. 
and then quickly that turned into i'm seeing demons man i i got i got both the you. joints and i was like that's like me yeah like every now and again I'll, I'll i'll smoke weed and have a great time and then just i always remember hating it yeah. even though yeah. like i have good times sometimes i i, th I think I, I think for both of us, because I've seen you smoke as well and enjoy it. And then had, I think it's because we both got to get too comfortable. Like, we'll have a little bit more. Yeah, comfortable is one word. You were getting cocky. You were like, it fits yeah. me with the whole joint. I want to be cool. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> yeah, just like yeah. I gave it to Chad and he was like, I'm going to finish this. And I was like, you don't want to try like a little bit. He was, he finished the entire thing. Mm. And then I just conked out on the couch. And I, Ryan, Ryan was cooking up a feed that night for some reason. Yeah, we were roasting. Ryan cob, loves cob cooking. Loaf for he's, a big yeah, grace. he's good at it too. It was great. He had a, yeah, nice no, it feed. took three days to clean up the mess from the cooking. <laughs> it but it was worth bad. it. It was it was nice having a family dinner. Yeah, uh, I big... can barely. I just remember Straw waking me up like off the couch, like dinner's ready, and then like I was so high, I didn't even know how to like pull you a plate. Were <laughs> it. You oh were my God. It. And then Straw like put a little plate for me together. I was like, thanks. He, like, Did the food taste good? Head. Yeah, it was good. Yeah, food yeah, was great, good, especially because you were stoned. And I ate the food. And it was so good. And then I was sitting at the table, and I was like, how long does this dinner go for? I was like, I fucking can't. And I just like. Went back to just bed. went back to the couch, which well, is like ten feet away from the dinner table. In the evenings as well, we were watching the Lord of the Rings movies, which is very cozy. Yeah, Get the fireplace going. That's so Mel good, melting dude. marshmallows. marshmallows. Because as a New Zealander, I'd actually never, I've never finished the Lord of the Rings series. Neither like, have I, I. Just, I just never. Yeah, I always fall asleep during them. And Same. when but, I went to Perth and visited uh, my girlfriend's family, they were like shocked that yeah. I had never seen Lord of the I'm Rings. They, they made me watch New the Zealand first movie, and yeah. you haven't seen it. Well, like watching them now seemed like the perfect. Like I really actually enjoyed watching them this yeah. time around. I, I think I still fell asleep during most of them because they're just so fucking long. We're, and we're so high, but it was definitely the time to watch Lord of the Rings. It was so cozy. Um, yeah. Next day we wake up, fucking real early. Uh, that's a Sunday. We wake up at six, seven thirty because we have to catch a helicopter flight. At oh eight. yeah, that's right. Um, mm. I was the first up because I was because I went to bed so early because I was blitzed. This yeah. I felt the most left out. Because like seeing you guys in a helicopter was like that is fucking so cool. And that photo of you guys that, on top of the mountain so, just getting out of a helicopter. It was so, so fucking cool. I've, I've never had, been I've there, never too. been on a helicopter before. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. So like that I've was that was fucking cool. You've you flown, flown one? one? You've flown yeah. one. Yeah. That's really? Right. Yeah. yeah. Are you allowed that to do that? Uh, it <laughs> yeah, was. It you was have like a license, a, don't you? No, no, no. I don't oh. have a license. You were considering getting it. Yeah, when I was younger, I really wanted to be a helicopter pilot. So I went to this airfield. And we, uh, you, you just paid this instructor 800 bucks. And then he gives you lessons. And, I've, and he like, he takes off. And then I was just allowed to fly around for an hour. And then like, he would, he taught me how to land and stuff. It was sick. Oh, wow. So it's, cool. Like, that is cool. It's like how you can get, uh, <clears throat> how you can, you know, go do test flights and planes and stuff. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I knew, I knew people uh, when I was, when I was like 16, 17. Uh, where we like people would get their fucking plane license or pilot license for like little crap dusters before they'd get their driver's license. Yeah. Mm. yeah. I would have been pretty young when I did it. It was like one of the coolest experiences of, of my life. Yeah. It, helicopters are really cool because you, you are like, you're always doing something with, mm. with all of your limbs because you just have to. But that's what, one of, that's what the pilot was explaining to us as well. He was yeah. like, when yeah. he was explaining how it works, I was like, man, it just went over my head. Yeah. With a plane, <laughs> you just kind of push a lever forward and hold a steering wheel. Yeah. But helicopters it's you constantly have to be micro adjusting and stuff can you get mm. your license so that we can buy a helicopter and you can drive us I, around i <laughs> was like actually a couple months ago i said to ryan i was like if you like ever get a like a, a, a ranch or something yeah i, like, I when, when, when you're retired get rich? my helicopter license yeah that was another conversation we had a helicopter like fuck we need someone that knows how to fly a helicopter so we can just buy one i would yeah. do it. i was considering getting my license recently actually. okay this may be a to, on the to-do list this is happening a little pushing yeah. for a helicopter yeah i would love to do it helicopter rides are kind of sketchy though hidden up to these mountains yeah we we're about eight thousand feet up uh in the air and we we're going past these snowy peaks and every time you go past a peak there's like a gust of wind that'll. What the fuck is that beeping? It's the GoPro. Oh, uh, the GoPro. I think it just it's, it's ran out of bad. battery. Uh, anyway, sweet. every time we go past the peak, there's like a. Uh, the, the pilot would warn us, being like, all right, there's going to be a bit of wind coming because. Yeah, the turbulence, because wind wind's traveling up the side of the mountain. That's right. And so, like, every time we went past one, the whole helicopter would kind of swing and be like, Woof. And then Darcy and Ryan in the back are like <laughs> pale white, like yeah. shitting themselves. It definitely felt sketchy. Um, but man, it was so. Man, it was so like sick. getting up and landing on those so glaciers sick. and like looking over it was it looked gorgeous because yeah. it looked like you're going up and there's literally nobody it is just you 
all isolated mm-hmm. on top of this freshly fallen snowy peak. Yeah. And there was just nothing else there. No one else up there. It's what? It's so what? Early, like first thing in the morning, it was, the snow looked like sugar. It was shimmering. We it looked had, like cocaine. The pilot, yeah, it did look like cocaine. The, the pilot made us mojitos. We smoked a That's joint so up there. That's so sick. Yeah. Like, did you use the snow as the ice? Well, the snow was so hot packed yeah, that we did it. Yeah. But, um, uh. Man, it was it was just a vibe, man. It was incredible. It was, it was different. If anyone wants to get an idea of what this place looks like, uh, you can Google Milford Sound and get some scenery. Maybe um, maybe pull pull it up here on the yeah, on the screen. Which, uh, get, a, get an idea. Which is uh yeah, it's, it's a glacier. It's it's incredible. Um, so yeah, Whoa. we're flying through these mountains like this. Whoa! It's just ridiculous. Um, yeah, you see these photos that look like they were, you know, fantasy drawings from some dude on DeviantArt. Yeah. Holy yeah. shit. We That's what New Zealand looks life. like. Yeah, New Zealand <laughs> is fucking mint. It is insanely gorgeous. The, the yeah, the water looks It's also just really like that. really weird cuz when we did the helicopter tour as well, he took us through three different biomes. We were in snowy <laughs> we were in snowy mountains. Yeah. We went to lush jungle and we went to a beach. We went to the beach and, mm. and dude, did you get all, bitten by all those insects? I have all the marks At all the over beach, my hand. They're from like them. all these blood sucking little flies got on the helicopter. Oh. I mean, little oh. sand bugs, yeah, sand, bugs. sand bitten, flies or whatever. And like you'd hit them and like they'd smear blood all over yeah. your hand. For the next week, I was itchy as fuck from yeah, those. Yeah, I wasn't itchy flies. for like the first two days. And That's then, so yeah, gross. Yeah, they came back real hard. I was itchy last night from them still. Yeah. But anyway, yeah, that, that, other than that, it was fucking amazing. Yeah, and we, we saw could, the seals as well down the beach. It was saw, good. Saw the baby seals. Man, ga- so gave cool. them a brief club. Yeah, um, yeah, I we, love. We could connect we're to the blue. We're clubbing with them, huh? We we're clubbing with yeah, them. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Obviously, it's Queenstown, baby. We're getting lit. <laughs> uh, we could connect to Bluetooth. So, like, I was listening to the fucking like. Yeah, we all put any, on Fortunate Sons. Fortunate yeah. Sons. Yeah. That's so up. sick. <laughs> So oh for some reason, everyone had fortunate songs downloaded on their phone, yeah. even though we had no reception. It's the fucking quintessential amazing. Quintessential helicopter song, and then I was yeah. like, "What else? Like, all right, breathe in the air, fucking Rocket Man, Space Odyssey, just any song that will sound great in a helicopter." Mm. I was jamming, and it was just amazing. yeah, because everyone everyone was high, and on the trip back, literally no one said anything on the trip back because everyone was just like jamming out, because like, everyone was just jamming out the music just on the headphones, just taking in the view, just stoned take, off yeah. that joint, incredible. That's awesome. Yeah, and then we we One land day. back. One day, yeah. Next time, man. We're, there's no way, like, it's such a short. No trip. way, we're not we're, going we're, back there. Multiple we were already, times. We were like, already was... talking about this last night. Where Ryan's like, "Yeah, let's go back on the 28th." And I was like, "It's <laughs> only oh, like two and a half on, weeks from now, man." <laughs> we'll so, go back. We'll go back for ski season. I'm sure mm, later in the it's, year. It, like, it's so weird how short of a trip New Zealand is from here. Like, it's so easy. It's, it's so easy. Genuinely, uh, flying to New Zealand is closer than flying to some places in australia well perth is, yeah. perth is a longer flight perth than was a longer flight to auckland yeah. than auckland yeah, yeah, like yeah. I, I can get from here to my parents house in like six hours total like mm. including all the travel like to the airport and the my mom my mom actually said this to me because i went and saw her before our last lockdown and mom was like you can come back and visit me and I, but she's like if you can go to new zealand you can come visit me and i was like mom it takes me less time to get to new zealand than it doesn't get to theirs because i have to fly to one airport and then to another because they live in a rural town. Whereas if right. I want to go anywhere in, in, in New Zealand, they all have airports there I can fly directly from Melbourne to. Right, right. So good. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, we, we you know, touched down back in the, the airport and we're like, fuck, that was such a sick experience. Most of the group was going home today. It was just you and me, really, that were staying mm-hmm. that one extra one night. One extra night. Um, so we head back to the Airbnb and everyone kind of starts getting ready and we have a little lunch and say our goodbyes. And me and Chad are like, all right, we got a night to ourselves. We'll probably just chill out and, and cruise you take a nap i go for a hike up the hill which is really nice by the way just had a nice little hike by myself and when i get back fucking noah and darcy had, were back there the they, they, they missed their flight, missed their flight. <laughs> so there was actually four of us staying the extra night um which was just fine by me you know it's fucking you were boys. You, I, you, I, we booked him i booked him a masseuse because that's not nah, sorry noah really wanted a massage yeah and so i was calling up all around town like finding a remote like masseuse to come yeah <laughs> Finally got one, <clears throat> and you were high as hell. Well, because Mitchell baked these edibles the night before. Mm. Which I, had the, I had the tiniest bit of this edible. They were insane. And I, like, I just, I had to go to bed. Like, I tried to stay awake. I didn't want to get a massage because it fucked me up that bad. <laughs> and it was like nine thirty, and you guys wow. were staying up watching stuff. And I was like, I can't stay awake, man. That edible fucked me. I don't know how you were alive. I was stoked. I had no idea that you booked a masseuse, and then after I'd eaten the edible, you were like, oh, well, there's one coming. I was like, incredible. I get this massage you know in fr- like by the fireplace look it out over queenstown just i don't think i've ever felt so good in my life that massage felt good, incredible man. like remember when we got that massage yeah. in fiji and i couldn't stop laughing yeah i was kind of worried that it would be like that again because i was so high you know and i don't know i'm kind of ticklish like being touched and not yeah. knowing when you're going to yeah. get touched is kind of weird when you're high but 
I was so relaxed, I almost fell asleep. It was the best. It made me want to get a massage every day. It was so so ridiculously good. And Noel got one too. And yeah. I did not it. want to be touched after that at all. I was like, I was like, I'm good. <laughs> I'm fucking good. Like Yeah. Yeah. And that was nice. This last nice. night was really chill. It was. Everyone woke up and we all parted ways the next morning. I was the first to leave. I stayed in New Zealand for Five extra days, I think. Yeah, yeah. yeah you right. went, to a, went to the hot pools, right? Went yeah, to I went down to Christchurch. I went up to Hammer Hammer Hills. Hammer, Hammer Hills. Hammer Hills. It's like a no. ski town, but yeah. they have hot springs there. Oh, and nice. I went there That's nice. with a friend of mine and did the hot springs. And then I went to Auckland for two days and saw another YouTuber, Kato Potato, and my other friend, Kermath. Nice. Sweet. Chilled there for two days. Kato Potato was really big in New Zealand uh, back in the back day. Back in the day, when, yeah. When yeah I that's young. how I knew. Used to watch her. Oh uh, yeah, when I was younger. Mm, nice. yeah. yeah, back on the face. She was she was on Facebook, wasn't she? Yeah, yeah, Facebook. She's mm. still she's still big, but like she like stopped uploading here and there and life, and then she's been sick, but she's doing better now. And good. I've known her since like 2015, and I we went I went hang out with her. It was the first time I'd seen her since 20. Yeah, first time I'd seen her since 2015. So it's been fucking six years since I saw her. Damn. And yeah, I hung out with her and I had a good time and flew home. Nice. Yeah, and no, I Beautiful. went back up to Auckland for a couple of days and connect with my parents again because fucking covid's been ages since i've seen mm. them and my grandparents and had wow. a nice couple of days at home that was definitely refreshing enjoyed enjoy it's it's weird going back to your home city like after you've been living away for mm. a while yeah you kind of like see it through different eyes i remember i went for on a run on my old trail and i was like oh that's where you used to play cricket and oh that's that mm. place and yeah definitely maybe yours is a bit different when i go home i go oh man this, house, this fucking town sucks shit well i definitely was bored <laughs> yeah, right? okay, yeah. like, there's always something boring about going home to your parents house because yeah. you know, it's yeah. your parents house like yeah, it's, you, your freedom's kind of gone yeah. you know, really but whatever um but it was still really nice and it was only a couple of days and then yeah headed home and we got back a few days ago right mm. and uh that was the new zealand trip it was Sounds uh, awesome. honestly it couldn't have gone any better in yeah. my mind like it was perfect we all had such a good time and I think everyone kind of fell in love with New Zealand a little bit, so it's really good to hear. Hopefully, we'll keep going back. The, la the last bit of weed, there was so much leftover weed. Actually, the last. What did you do with the bong, by the way? Because um, the bong wasn't on the table when I woke up in the morning. I think someone disposed of that. Actually, funny story: the weed that we got from that dealer up in Auckland, um, we took that to uh, the beach. Um, my mum's side of the family has a, a house by the beach, mm. and um, no one of my no one in my family smokes weed or anything like that, really. Um, maybe maybe my cousins probably do without telling the parents, but we took so much weed to Power Noise, where it's called. And um, so my brother Hamish got to like take three ounces home with him to his flatmates. Oh, oh man, stoked. He, they were, his, and his flatmates are huge stoners. Mm. They had never seen so much weed in their life. Like, they to, must to them, have been so happy. They were so happy in this huge bong that Ryan bought. Because Ryan went to a shisha store and like just bought <laughs> just a ridiculous yeah. amount of shit just for this trip. Uh, and then we also hid like a little bit of weed and a bong underneath the, the house. So that and next, the time, beach house, right. next, time, smart. next time when we go back, we'll have this little stash. Hopefully, uh, hopefully my grandparents or my parents won't find it. But. I took the leftover <laughs> weed in the morning and I divided up into three bags. Yeah. And I stashed each bag behind the letterbox up in the bushes. Oh yeah, you did a little like uh, and I, and a little stash. I, I did one on my story saying, if you want weed, come grab it. And it was gone within like 20 minutes. Really? So, so geocache. So someone found it. And then I messaged two of the strippers from the strip club who I, they followed on Instagram. <laughs> and I was like, because we were trying to buy weed that night off the strippers as well. Because yeah. we were just all looking for weed. And I was like, if you guys want weed, like it's just up here. And then they only live just down the road from the Airbnb. So they both came up and grabbed a bag of weed each. Nice. Oh, not yeah, bad. That worked well, out, didn't it? Yeah. Everyone's weed happy. Santa. Yeah. Literally weed I did Santa. not want to waste it. I felt so bad if we threw it in the bin. It was yeah. a lot of weed. It was good weed. We yeah, Af weed. African children could eat that Smoke weed. that weed. Yeah, eat yeah. that weed. Remember when the cleaners came? Because, by the way, the Airbnb people did not trust us. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> immediately. <laughs> We're immediately in, in after Queenstown. the people. So with the Airbnb, the owners didn't check us in. Like the concierge, like the, the house, the caretakers checked us in. Yeah. And Ryan said something about, Oh, uh, if we break something, you know, it just happens. I think he said something like that, but well, no, nothing in a bad way. Let me just preface as well. When we pulled into the Airbnb in the van. I bottomed out the van. You bottomed out the van. So the tow bar, like, and I, I remember looking at the windows and I could see this man and woman staring down at us as we pulled in. And you just, the van just scrapes on the driver. At least a big scratch up it. Just like I, to be fair. In, Everyone else did it, okay? It was the van, not me. And then it's like 10 cunts just pile out of this van, just not looking like the type to be renting a place like this at all. So right from the get-go, they did not trust us. And they immediately and then, went to the owners and snitched on us like, 
Yeah. These guys are going to fuck it. And they called Ryan. I think Ryan went full on defensive and like, oh, sorry, man. Yeah. But they didn't trust us. And then the cleaners come to collect the towels, which I think they were just snitches. Yeah, we cleaned straight up one morning, just let themselves in and like walked straight into the living room with this weed <laughs> and, and Ryan panics and goes to hide the weed and he picks up the bag by the bottom of it and spills weed all <laughs> over the floor. So I get up as quick as I can, Jesus I grab the Christ. blanket <laughs> and I block the view and my excuse is, oh, I'm naked, sorry, I didn't know there was people coming in. So I'm holding this blanket up in front of the doorway so they can't see in the living room going, I'm naked, like, oh, sorry, we can't look. And Ryan's like on the floor, like picking up weed. But I think we got away with it. I don't think they yeah, were. They, 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 were they were chill with it, mm. but it was pretty funny. I was pretty pissed off that they just let themselves in. Yeah. Yeah, that's really inappropriate. Yeah. 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 Fucking... I could have seen your cock. We know how private you are about that. <laughs> <laughs> I was on the couch naked too in front of everyone. Just wrapped up in the blanket. God that was damn. a fucking good trip. It was. It sounds like it was a good trip. It was good. What are the odds of you guys being able to come next time? Uh, I'm near, going to New Zealand I'm, I'm, yeah. in August. Nearly August. 100. That's nearly, a wedding to go to. That's when we were nice. thinking of going as well because yeah. that's kind of ski season. Nearly yeah. 100% you guys couldn't come this year. Yeah, because yeah, it's just bullshit. Yeah, mm. but... Um, yeah, hopefully next time we'll get you there. Eh? Easily, easily. Yeah. I'm always. We were, we were just the beta test for the New Zealand trip. The next yeah. one will yeah. be. It'll be fully unlocked. I'm super yeah. down. We'll know where to go. We'll know how to plan it better this time. Yeah, we'll yeah. know all the spots. We know how to get weed too. True. Glad you guys had a good time, but I'm also glad that you're back home. Yeah, because I missed the both of you. Good to be back home. I missed the both. I had a good night last night. How how's life? And we're almost at the end of the episode here, chat. But do you want to tell us what's been going on with you? And you know, how's cold ones going? How's oh yeah? How's Fuck, the channel? About that. Plug plug all your shit. You know, hey, look, look, give me subs so I can get money. <laughs> no, I'm not good. Just you know, we're on the schedule. We've got the filming. We've got the yeah. editing down pat. Just chilling. I think I'm just. I feel like I'm just. On autopilot, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right now it's like, good. It's good content. Yeah. We're not innovating. We're not trying to do anything. Shit. We're just like we write down our ideas. We come in. We do it. We're like had fun. Call it mm. a night. I'm just trying to drink less, but like <laughs> that. Uh, <laughs> that internet challenge gauntlet was was really yeah. You guys have to do that. And still. We, and uh -huh. we still have yeah. to do it. We've been all over the place, but we yeah. will be filming that soon. We're yeah. going to we're going to talk it over after the podcast okay. and see how we'll do it. And you know, obviously, we want to get you involved. Okay. So. Uh, yeah, we're just yeah, down the we'll road. Sort, sort we, could, we, could, we could make it. We could make it work. Let's just explain probably. what that internet gauntlet is, just for the people who yeah, don't know. It's oh yeah. yeah. Well, there was meant to be a little bit, few more challenges. So we basically we wanted to pull together all like the 2010 funny challenges, right? And try to do them all in one go. But we literally got to the ice bucket challenge, and we couldn't go any further because we just did all. We did like the watermelon one, which cinnamon. was tame. Cinnamon, milk, and then ice bucket, and that was planking thrown in there. But you can f throw in more if you want. Yeah, yeah. we probably will. We, we, have, a, we have a really big idea. But I just I, don't want to throw up. Yeah, okay, well, throwing up. that was that was what two, the super mega guys did it, and Matt has like a phobia of throwing up, mm. and Two Mad didn't want to do it either, and they some and Two Mad because we when we said when we nominated Two Mad, Two Mad's like. I'm not fucking doing it. You guys can eat shit. And then Super <laughs> Mega roped them into doing it with them. Yeah. So it all worked out in the end. But nice. beautiful. It hurts. It actually, it physically hurts your body. <gasps> yeah. Oh, man. I, I just know wait. that I'm going to have to be the one that throws up. I can I'll just do feel it. that. I'll do it. I'll volunteer. I'll do the milk. <laughs> all right. Yeah. Yeah. You can throw up through the mask. Yeah, throw yeah, up. Uh, that, that's waterboarding yourself. Yeah, my <laughs> idea is that I'll get the milk. I'll drink all of it through a straw, through the hole in the helmet. And then when I'm ready to puke, I'll puke through the, through oh, the holes in the helmet. <laughs> go all so out gross. and just leak out. It'll yeah, be yeah. great. It'll be, I it'll be I can convince we, Mason to do something fucked Yeah, Mason, yeah. Mason will do it easily. We owe everything to the internet, so it's only right that we pay homage to these challenges. Yeah. Right? Like, why not? Let's... Let's give back. Let's remember what, what made the internet what it is. It's people eating spoonfuls of cinnamon. And, and racism. <laughs> and racism. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if that's a challenge. Yeah, I'm not going to do that challenge. <laughs> 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 Hear me out, man. No, don't. <laughs> Anyway, that's yeah. that's probably it. Eh? Follow anything for views everywhere. All right, that's your tags, right? Anything yeah. for views. Buy Gamer yeah. Subs Waifu Cups. Buy Gamer Subs Waifu Cups. Check out Cold Ones. It's great content, great show. Thanks for coming on, man. No, thanks for having me. Thanks for having it's yeah. always a pleasure uh, having someone from Max Mofu's podcast. Okay, that's <laughs> it. All right. Cut that. Uh, I'm, that. I'm taking right. this off, bro. That's a low blow. Love you, Chad. Bye, guys. We'll Bye. see you next week. Later. Bye.